Hello Cancer, Summon Rising and Venus sign. Welcome to your uh, general love readings for the week of February 1st to the 7th, 2019. Yes, I've started my weeklies again. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I can um, stay on top of this a lot better than I did last time I started my weeklies. But anyway, so guys, it's for singles, couples, or anyone who needs love messages. And guys, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, if this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon, your rising, and Venus sign. If you don't know it, check out the link below. And also, if this does not resonate, I, keep, I know I'm saying, yeah, and also, and, and also, you know, I, I like to go through the routine. Okay. Just go through, run down the routine. All right. Remember, these are general love messages. If they don't resonate with you, you can always get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the link below. All right, let's jump in. Cancer, summon, resident, Venus sign. Tell me what's going on with their current romantic love life. Okay, you got the magician. Cool. So, Cancer, you're trying to manifest what you want in this reality. And it looks like it's going to happen because you got the magician card. This is a major arcana card. Either this is going on for you or this is coming in from another person. They're trying to manifest you. What is the blockage for Cancer, Summon Rising, being assigned for the time period of February 1st to the 7th, 2019? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Okay, so movement in love. Oh, the you guys could be the blockage too because you're the water sign here. Um, you may blo be blocking this out, this movement here with this person who's coming in, who's coming as the magician. What is Cancer, Summon, Rising, Venus sign strength for the romantic love life for this time period? Show me the card I need to see. Your strength is the Knight of Rods. Okay, so so this could actually be a, a, a real a, like a uh, fire sign person, or your strength could be just like okay, not taking it as serious with the a Knight of Wands because Knight of Wands is kind of like a person who is not really committal it's not a committed person there's passion here yes so your strength is passion but at the moment you know your strength is not to commit okay so and maybe you're taking the right approach by blocking this out at the moment so what's happening with cancer's past situation has affected their current love state from the card i need to see from the card i need to see so something happened where you were hurt in the past potentially or somebody else that you were dealing with was feeling really defensive. You see that they're having to defend themselves. It's like a test of faith going on here with the nine of rods. And who's coming towards Cancer, Summon, Rising, and Venus sign for the romantic love life for this time period? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Page of Pentacles, maybe an earth sign person, or this person is trying to commit with you, right? Because your strength at the moment, you're trying to block this out. This person is trying to manifest a reality with you, or there's an earth sign person here. This could be a Virgo, a Capricorn. Um, I would just say this card would be more Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. All right. So Page of Pentacles says there's kind of some kind of messages coming in that could potentially saying, hey, I'm offering you something serious here. And obviously you have the magician here. All right, so what's something about this person that you don't know that you need to know? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Page of Swords, they want to communicate something with you with the Page of Swords. Uh, what's going to be the immediate outcome that we cannot change that will happen for Cancer, Summon, Rising, and Venus sign for this time period? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Okay, that's interesting. An actual fire sign person came out. Hmm. Queen of Rods, Sagittarius, Leo. Queen of Rods I see is a Sagittarius or a Leo. Could be an Aries, but I don't really see this card as an Aries card. Um, what is um, Cancer's advice for this situation? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. So you need to go with the one that makes you emotionally completely happy. So that's what your advice is. So, okay. All right. Since I'm actually seeing an actual fire sign person and I'm seeing another strength being the fire sign person here, I'm thinking you're involved with a fire sign person, okay? If not, if not, they're, they're, 
because this could just be representing this person coming towards you is bringing you messages of something serious, okay? And that's why they're also coming out as the magician. You have an uncertainty within you about moving forward with this person for some reason because of an apprehensing that happened out uh, to you in the past. All right, so now let's get some clarification here. I think you were left out in the cold by this person in the past. Now they want to hold on to you and they want to come out of the cold. All right. So you're a little bit hesitant. Like, all right, would I, do I really want to do this? Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? The magician came out as the magician. Okay, so Major Arcana card uh, is definitely saying that someone wants to manifest the reality. Either that or there's actual magic here. No, I'm just messing with you. But um, <laughs> the magician card is definitely coming out as someone wants to manifest the reality. So I think it's definitely the person coming towards you. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here for the blockage? I think that's you blocking it, but I'll just ask. So you are blocking it because something had ended before and something's coming back around for a new beginning. So, uh, or there could be some kind of travel involved with the situation with the World Card or they could be different from what you're used to, but I don't think so. Why else is the Knight of Cups here? Okay, so there's definitely travel involved, okay? There's travel. We got the Chariot card. We got the Chariot card with the World card. So the movement in love is also kind of an issue because this could be a long-distance relationship. And also, this person could be a lot different and foreign from what you're used to, okay? But they are coming out as a magician, which is... So your hesitation is probably this. Okay, so, and then also the knight is also representing some kind of movement. So why is the knight of wands here? So your strength is, you're kind of uh, a little bit out of balance. Maybe it's also because pentacles are to do with pentacles, actual pentacles sometimes. So um, maybe you can't really take an action on this. Or maybe your strength is to take an action on this because uh, uh, don't be worried about like, you know, finances, like fa finances being an issue. But let me get one more card on this. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, you're actually worried about work here. <laughs> So your strength is the Knight of Wands, so you could take movement on this, okay? So your strength is you can move on this, move on this passion. If this is a passion of yours, you can move on it. Um, and don't worry about the work-life balance and the work in it, because this is your strength. You, could, you can move on it. All right, so why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Temperance. So patience. So they're coming out as the Page of Pentacles. Let me get another card on this. Temperance is also not an equal give and take. So there could also be a choice here. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone's not being complete. This person coming towards you is not being completely honest about something with the, uh, the Temperance and the Page of Pentacles. I mean, and the, uh, with the Seven of Swords. Your strength is not to commit because it could be work because there may be a choice involved here. Got it. Okay, I got it. Okay. So they're, they're offering something serious to you. They're coming off as something, oh, I got this serious thing for you. Um, let's move forward on this. But they're not being completely honest with you. And that's also why the Page of Swords is coming out. Okay, I see. I see. Why is the Page of Swords here? Judgment, something to do with the reconciliation or healing. So they want to have a reconciliation or, or healing with you. And offer you something serious with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, yes, that, that makes sense. Now, why is the Queen of Rods here for the current situation? The Queen of Rods is coming out as the Three of Pentacles. So there's another person here 
Why else, uh, what else do I need to know about this immediate outcome that we cannot change? Show me another card for this outcome, please. Something to do with something to do with being regretful of the past. Huh. Huh. And why is the advice the Ten of Cups? I see. So Spirit is saying, hey, you want to ch ch choose something where you're going to be completely and emotionally happy. You really want to think about things. You want to contemplate it on before uh, going with something new with the Ace of Cups. You want to contemplate and think about things. All right, so the way I'm seeing it right now, the magician may not be a positive card in this situation. There could be some manipulation going on. And you're a little bit hesitant, obviously, because you're the water sign person. You're the blockage right now. Uh, maybe you're also hesitant because of the fact that uh, there's some long distance travel here. Uh, you also could have dealt with this person in the past and is coming back around again. Your strength is Knight of Wands, which is movement and passion. Your strength is movement and passion, but it's not a commitment card. And the reason why it's your strength is because of the Eight of Pentacles, something to do with work and finance or school, and a choice, Two of Pentacles. So maybe you have a choice here. Maybe you have a choice between an Earth sign person and a Fire sign person. This Fire sign person could be somebody from your past that you could build something with with the Three of Pentacles that's possible. Because this Earth sign person is coming out as someone who is, and, and also your strength is the Fire sign person. The earth sign person is coming out as somebody who's not being completely honest about something that's kind of off, something that's emotionally off, or there's actually another person with this person, there's, there's an actual person here. However, uh, what is something about this person you don't know that you need to know is that they are serious about uh, a reconciliation with you and offering you something serious. They are communicating that with you. But I think you have a choice between two people here, obviously, because we got this, two. But if it's not two people, um, I think that someone's not being honest with themselves about uh, there still needs to be some healing here with the temperance. So if there's not two people here, if there's not two people here, it just means somebody needs to be honest about the fact that there still needs to be some healing here with the judgment card and the temperance here and be patient before you go into a commitment. Really, really think about things. Is this situation and spirit saying, if, if that's the case, is spirit, is spirit is saying, is this really going to make you happy? Is this what really what you want? Really think about this, okay? With the four of swords energy before accepting this, right? Accepting this. Um, all right, let me get some more advice for you. So tell me some advice that you need them to know. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. So romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, all right. So in this case scenario, it looks to me like Spirit is saying, hey, you know you're in love with this person. Uh, yes, you guys had some issues in the past. It looks like you were defensive. And if it wasn't this person, it's someone new, then you were just feeling really defensive about the past because of, of past hurts. Uh, and, and, and you're really not sure if you really want to go forward with this person to start something new because you had an ending. That, that could be the way this could be too. But the advice to this situation is this person is actually going to be here uh, for that week. Um, they are interested in, in a reconciliation with you and healing and they do want to offer you something new and solid and tangible. And they want to communicate that with you. But they haven't as of yet. So anyway, guys. I hope you like this. Um, please let me know what's going on with your situation with the comments below. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. And I'll be seeing you soon.